Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing two rings interconnected from birth, never to be apart, but very sad at that fact, as they want to live their own lives but never can because they're interconnected from birth and can never be apart. Pretty messed up if you ask me, and today that's exactly what I'm going to be drawing. Today I'm going to be drawing in my Soho Urban Artist Sketchbook, and today I'm going to be drawing with my Pilot Metropolitan Ballpoint Pen with a Pilot G2 0.7mm insert inside of it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and now get my sketchbook all opened up to the nearest open page. And now that we are on the nearest open page, let's go flip my sketchbook over, and now i got to think about whether I want this to be in sort of this page format, or if I want it to be more in a sort of landscape page format. Not sure in all honesty, trying to think, and I'm thinking I might prefer this, so I'm going to stick with uh, this page being oriented like this for this drawing. But without further ado, let's go and get the cap all off of my pen. And now that I've done that, let's go ahead and get to drawing the interconnected rings themselves. And the way I'm going to do that is going to be very simple. I'm simply going to draw a circle just like that and a circle just like that and wow that looks like something i saw in what is it high school science honestly middle school silence si silence silence this looks like something i saw in high school it's like oh wow there's two separate things and then they correlate in the middle that's not what this is that's not what this is but it, it do kind of look like that in all honesty it do kind of look like that but Let's go ahead and now give these two little rings some faces, or uh, yeah, some faces, not one face, because there's two separate rings that are just interconnected. So they have two different faces. So let's uh, go ahead and give these rings faces now. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of a nose right here and right here. And let's do a little bit of an eye right there and right there. And... Same on this side, and same on that side, just like that. Go and give them both mouths, just like that. A little bit of a chin, <clears throat> excuse me, clearing my throat. And of course, what I'm doing right now is just kind of the first layer. Not the most happy with this drawing right now, I've been, I've been kind of... What's the right way of putting it? Been kind of... Honestly, I'm not sure what the right way of putting it is. Frankly put, though, I'm not really super happy with this drawing. I kind of want to give it another shot. So I might do that. I might do that. I'm not really super happy with how the face has turned out. So I think I'm going to actually give this another shot, in all honesty. So let's try it again. Kind of out of it today, I guess, is really the right way of putting it. I am kind of out of it today, so I'm not really fully paying attention to what I should be, in all honesty. Let's go ahead and try again, though. Do a little bit of a circle right there, and a little bit of a circle right there, just like that. And while they're not exactly the same, it's still two rings overlapping, and that's exactly what we wanted. Let's go ahead now, and I think the main thing that really bothered me about the face was the eyes. They were just, like, too close together, so I think I'm going to try... A different type of eye now and I think the type of eye I'm going to try is going to just be circles in all honesty. Let's go and give both of these little circles a nose and a mouth first off though and now some eyes. There we go just like that and a little bit of a chin, a little bit of a chin, forehead line, forehead line, some stuff going on down here. And let's go and give them both some legs now. And some arms as well, I do suppose. Now, while y'all might not be thinking that these rings look super sad, 
they do. And the reason they might not look super sad, the reason they don't have a real frowny face, is just because they've been sad for so long that they don't even feel the need to look sad anymore. They're just kind of, wow, I'm so done with this. That's just kind of how they are, in all honesty. Well, with the main sketch all done, let's go ahead and now start going over all of the lines again, just to make the drawing just look a little bit more distinct and whatnot. Starting off with the circles of the rings themselves. So let's just go over these two and just add a bunch of layers and whatnot. Bunch of different lines just going on all throughout. There we go. I'm thinking that should probably work. Let's go ahead and now do another layer on the nose, just like that. There we go. And another layer on the other nose as well. A little uh, layer up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another little layer right there. And I think I'm gonna leave the eyes until last. I think I'm gonna handle everything else before the eyes, because the eyes already have a couple layers on them. Uh-oh, I'm smearing some ink just a little bit. Whoopsies, it is what it is. Just add some personality to the drawing. Nothing I can do about it. Any more, at least.
Alrighty, <clears throat> excuse me. And I think that's most of the drawing all done. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to do, and I think I might just want to thicken up this arm just a little bit. But I think that's pretty much all there is to it. Yeah, well, I can't complain. I do think I've achieved my goal that I set at the beginning of this video, which was to draw two characters or two rings interconnected from birth, never to be apart, and very sad at that fact. I think I have uh, drawn exactly what I set out to, drew, uh, to, drew, to draw at the beginning of this video. Did it turn out really the way I wanted? Did it turn out looking exactly the way I was thinking it was going to? Eh, uh, not really. I mean, like, it turned out the way I, I kind of wanted, just not the way I kind of envisioned, I do suppose, really the right way of putting it. But, I don't know, it was just different in my imagination for some reason. Not exactly sure why, but I am still much more happy with this drawing than not, and I am not dissatisfied by it by any means. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing. I say as I'm continuing to draw. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing, though. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. And, of course, as well, uh, make sure to give me any constructive criticism that y'all might have or anything like that. Of course, just let me know what you guys think of the drawing, any areas of improvement you guys think I can make with it. And, of course, as well, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my uh, Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one. Well, do stay safe and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one. As said, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?